Good morning, everyone. It is day 13. I hope it's a good day of Vlogmas, and I'm still tweaking them. Believe it or not, I'm still tweaking the... <laughs> I'm so empty-headed in the morning. Believe it or Oh, my gosh. Look at the cat back there. I cannot believe you. I cannot believe you. Is that Ginger? Oh, it's Mars. Look at him. I can't even believe he's back there. You better not drop anything. I was just going to show you that Robert somehow or another found the elves. The elves on the shelf. These are actually old vintage ones. They are not from uh, the trend of a few years ago. And I had these somewhere else. And then I found one and I left them back in the box. And I don't know where he found them and then took them out. And I need for him to... See, you dropped it already. He's, oh, he's got a bell. So he, thinks it's, he thinks it's a toy just because it has a bell. Leave the elf alone. Anyway, I wasn't even going to put them out, but I, apparently he did. And then he put some old coasters that I actually throw away. I feel so bad. You're such a silly, silly kitty. Yes, you are. I cannot even believe you lie down like that. Just so I can scrub your little head. Scrub your little shampoo. <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? Say hi, friends. Say hi. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas Day 13. We are half past the half point. <laughs> Bye. It's a wet, dreary morning today. I wish it would just get a little chilly for Christmas. That's all I ask. A little dark temperature drop so we can get into the spirit. Isn't that crazy? When did cold weather become <laughs> part of Christmas? Okay, who brought the snow into the motif? I've been thinking about all these things. I know that the Victorians are responsible for the tree and other things. It may go back more if you can let me know, but that's what I have heard, that they are responsible for bringing the Christmas tree indoors. Let me know any trivia you may know about that. Snow, it's like we can't, was it Bing, Bing Crosby, the, the White Christmas? Maybe that was it, I'm not sure. The stream of traffic really starts flowing and uh, we can't really afford to stop anywhere. So I very likely will not stop this morning. So I never know when my paras, uh, they're very, I'm very lucky this year. I've mentioned to you that I'm super, super lucky to have great paras this year. I had a great one last year too. We got off to a really rough start. I told you about it. Then we had a gentleman that quit in the, in the I think the first month, barely the first month into the school year because he was asked by me to rearrange the seating and drag the desks around and he said he was going to, he was not going to get his back out for any job. So he just walked out on the job, didn't even, didn't even tell anyone anything. He just turned his badge in upstairs and done. So, and then I got one from H-E Double Hockey Sticks, who, un unbelievable, but it taught me a great, great lesson in many ways. And now I have two that are great at work ethic in the classroom. She uh, has wonderful ideas. She implements them without assistance. They both have years of experience in the classroom in the special ed SLL classroom, so I'm super, super blessed. But apparently, um, I have a crazy bus driver who, if we're not there at eight o'clock sharp, she will walk them in through the front. She's totally insane, which I think is ridiculous because school doesn't start till 8.30. So we are not supposed to be out there till eight o'clock or me, I, my, I clock in, I, my contract is 8.20. So when I would get there at eight just to accommodate because we hadn't quite had the other, um, we hadn't had, we, we had not hired the second para. So I was kind of doing double duty and she literally would honk at me as I was parking my car because I can park in two areas, the back where the buses come through or the front. And I was parking, parking in the back so I could accommodate that situation but when she started honking at me I just totally shut down my really need to take the higher road you're gonna get some babble this morning aren't you honestly 
but I've been rethinking a lot of my um, my personality and I know it's embedded and really deep but I do tend to um, tend to see the glass half empty and I need to stop that as a matter of fact I am really really at the point in my life where I need to make an affirmations I need to make these promises these affirmations to myself and I need to do them often because I can I do not want to be set in this way where I have to be right or the world is wrong and that's just that's just not the way the world works I understand that it's not the way the world works it works so much better if you just accept people's proclivities and faults and and learn to work with them and live with them and not hold it against them and so forth so that's kind of what I'm working on this Christmas season especially I've been watching I think I've mentioned him in passing, but I will link his channel below. Um, I just ordered some of his merch, so I'll probably link it when I get his merch so you can see because I absolutely love his channel. I discovered it during Vlogmas, and he is the absolute, to me, the reigning champion of Vlogmas in so many ways. He's not a huge, huge YouTuber. He's much bigger than I am, of course, but um, he just makes you appreciate life, and he is not a false positive type of person. He doesn't put on airs about being nice and being positive and doing good things for people and just living well, um, living for pur purposefully, you know. Uh, he doesn't do it like that. He does lean into his vulnerabilities and lets us know what he struggles with, anxiety and depression and all that and uh, yet he gets up and fights through it and does positive things to change his um, his demeanor but more importantly he changes ours as viewers and to me that's what YouTube is that is why YouTube thrives because you don't get that from television you don't get a sense of what does that do for me I mean, I know there are inspirational movies and things like that and things that I enjoy too, but when you can have like a personal or what you perceive to be a personal relationship with someone, only YouTube delivers that. And I absolutely love it. I don't watch much TV except an occasional Netflix, you know, uh, blockbuster thing like, <laughs> like Downton Abbey five years later and then The Crown and so forth. I mean, it's what YouTube that is why YouTube thrives because people do see you as um, people do see creators as either teaching them something, giving them something, some form of entertainment, some form of education, some form of enlightenment, and just delight. Just watching, and you feel better. You feel better about yourself and your world, and that's why I like it too. I hope that when people tell me. I, I like it rather. I really, really, really get an absolute thrill and unbelievable amazement when people tell me, you have helped me get through my mother's death or you helped me get through COVID. I always found your videos so relaxing and so entertaining and I like your sense of humor and your dry sense of humor and whatnot. That really makes me feel wonderful. It really, really does. And I understand it because I am a consumer of YouTube as well. So be sure to check out his channel. If you've enjoyed Vlogmas and you enjoy that kind of content, I think you will love it. He also does planning. like He does planners. Of course, he incorporates cooking here and there, decorating. He's, of course, a professional. And he's married. His husband is an attorney, so they have a wonderful home. Uh, he's a gadget fanatic. He shows you all his latest, latest purchases and kind of talks about that. But um, And he does uh, planning vlogs, cleaning vlogs, that kind of thing. But my favorite thing from him is the vlog. So. Anyway, my goodness, it's already 13 after. You see, that only took two lights and I'm already 7.13. And I have to be at work at 8.20. So no time for Starbucks today. We will be having our coffee from a, from a, what do they call that coffee maker? I, I always call them Mr. Coffee, 
because I feel like Mr. Coffee was the inventor of it, the developer, so I don't know. But there's some nice ones out there. I, my cousin um, in San Antonio had that smeg, and that was the first I ever heard of that brand was from Christopher Allen. Very little in the jar. She had the mixer, the toaster, and the coffee pot. And the coffee pot looks amazing, and the coffee was amazing. And I just really, really liked it. I may invest in one. They are $300, though, so it's not happening now. Maybe after Christmas. But anyway, have a wonderful Monday. We'll see you in a little while. I'm going to have a haul for you, so come back for the haul tonight. I have been thrifting. And you saw me going to um, Hobby Lobby yesterday. Didn't find anything there, but definitely getting a little bit more tweaks on the decorations today. I'm really excited about having my Chicago grandchildren over on the 29th. Of course, my beautiful boy here that resides here in Houston will be hopefully spending some Christmas time with us, but that's why I'm getting super excited as well because this is the first time in two years that they've come for Christmas time, even though it's after Christmas. We're going to keep it all through January 9th or so. <laughs> all right. It's a cheap lunch date today. It is cafeteria nachos, which are amazing. I do have two favorites here at the school cafeteria. One is the nachos, and the other is, what did we say it was? Teriyaki chicken. Yes, teriyaki chicken. Those are the best. So that and an apple, and I am good to go. Plus, I did add my Torchy's Diablo sauce that I had two packages of leftover from last week. Perfection. So, so we've arrived at a Houston institution. My sister loves this place and she told me about it probably 30 years ago. And um, we have amazing things here. Their claim to fame, of course, is their uh, hardware, hard to find hardware that, uh, you know, if you are looking for that hard to find knob or drawer pull that belonged to your great grandmother's deco dresser or something you will likely find it here but other than that they have an, a wonderful array of gifts gift ideas kitchen luxury candles just um, wonderful ideas like chai tea packages or drink mixes or you know that one gadget that you you know someone doesn't have they wouldn't buy it for themselves it would be considered a luxury or something so that's why so here we are oh here is the yeti selection wow wowee look at that so yeti has everything from 300 dollars a lunch bag i guess well the lunch bags aren't that much they're 60 dollars they look oh my gosh they are, they're not very heavy, but they definitely look insulated. Very cool. But I really wanted to see like candles, things for the kitchen. I want to see if they have like croissant here. And because um, I'm looking for a saute pan, I may wind up buying it at Macy's, but I couldn't get it delivered until, oh my gosh, Mr. Bill. Do you guys remember Mr. Bill? Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Saturday Night Live. Wow, that's about how long ago Saturday Night Live was funny. I don't, fi I don't find it funny anymore. No. Thank you very much. Also, oh, people kind of like a home. University of Texas. Cook them. The big pots are over there. Okay. Oh, is this C's candy? No, I don't know what kind of candy it is, but we'll check it. Uh, around this area, yes. Cookware is out here and oh, over but here. This is a La Crusade. Okay. Like, uh, little coffee packages to make okay, so chai right tea here. or something. Okay, pretty. look. All that's going to be through here. All through. You're welcome. All right, well, let's look at the candles. Oh, look at the tree. Isn't that beautiful? A little oh my gosh, that is a huge ornament. Shaking, they call drop it. No, I'm not shaking, but it is kind of scary to put up a big ornament like that. I have a few big ones like that. I'm always sticking them way at the top so the cat doesn't get them. And so their weight will be held. That's important. Which one do you like? Okay. Try me. Let's just. 
That smells like shampoo. This smells like body wash for men. Let me see, black ginger. No scent whatsoever. Okay, I am not happy. I found one yesterday. I'll show it to you in the thrift haul. Um, someone was selling one with that scent. I think it's a rare scent, and it was selling for $300 on Etsy, 260 or something like that. So stay tuned for that. Coming up at the end of this video, the thrift haul. Oh, the nest. I've heard of these. These are... Okay, this one I can smell. That one's amazing. Holiday. This is the holiday. I was going to drink it. I honestly was going to drink it. I held it up to my mouth almost. <laughs> That's what happens when you're vlogging and talking and looking and dreaming. And oh my goodness, so much of a selection here. What's your favorite brand? Do you like the Nest diffusers or anything? They're so pretty bamboo oh this one smells delicious very nice that one smells really really good i like that he's 65 isn't he beautiful i love him oh look at these hand-painted ornaments those are incredible they are so light and beautiful aren't they i like the little royal mouse there he is so pretty yeah these are nice oh look at this for the stone hound stone rider are you looking at this made in brazil oh it's a fabulous jersey i do like the amethyst but this one's beautiful chess and checkers oh these always look good don't they Match your decor. Who's this? Frida? Famous women. I'm so afraid of bumping into something. Everything's kind of close quartered here. Oh my gosh, this is like Disneyland, isn't it? Oh, here's the jewelry. We have Julian Voss. Julie Voss. I don't know who she is. Olivia Rigel and Julia Voss. Maybe some local artisans, I'm not sure. Beautiful though, right? Look at those pearls. And the bangles. And they're around the $85 range is what I see for the bangles. That amazing ring, I'm not sure if that's a, a gemstone or a crystal. Looks like the color of um, chromium dioxide. But it could just be a crystal. Very likely with the price it's it's probably a crystal. It's really pretty. Hoop earrings are gorgeous too. Those are 85. Julie Voss, I will have to look her up. I'm not sure if she's a local designer. Here's a nice theme too. Very pretty. This is probably going to take more than a day to look through this store. Sajerto Impressions. You see this the nativity melts, is, in, is hidden in the candle. It smells amazing, too. Cedar wood. I may have to ask if that's what the deal is with this. Yeah, I think it melts down into a nativity. That's amazing. The Little Book of Christmas. Oh, beautiful Victorian style illustrations. Cards, how beautiful. So many candles. Love that. So much, so much, so much, so much. Oh, look at that. Hopper turned into a sculpture there. Isn't that beautiful? Christopher Radko, you can tell just by the heftiness, incredible design, beautiful. Christopher Radko. Crystal and table settings, they look amazing. 
really beautiful. I like the pillows too. Here is the Baccarat. Gorgeous. I like the hearts. Those are beautiful. 300 for the little one. That one's beautiful because that one stands, right? Those are really pretty. Oh, here they are. Here are the throws. Santa's. Santa suit throw. Isn't that gorgeous, though? I love it. Oh, my gosh. Look at the lines. In the colors. Yes. Hook them horns. Wow, we love it. This is a beautiful tablescape here. I love the centerpiece. Oh, I should make a centerpiece. I have so many picks, so many floral picks from making the the wreaths. Tons and tons left over. That it takes a lot of work, so believe me, I never criticize the prices that seem outlandish because it takes a lot of work. And it really does take an eye for design to make a centerpiece or an aura wreath. They are not easy to do, no. Not at all. Oh, here's some placemats. These are beautiful. These are really pretty. Deborah Rhodes. I heard of that. Those are very nice. I love watching them do these. I watch another Christmas theme. Well, he's not just Christmas. He's just a fabulous decor fanatic. And he's a retired teacher. Both him and his wife are retired teachers. They have a wonderful YouTube channel. And um, he said when he used to decorate the halls of his school, he would actually often be criticized and told, oh, this isn't a department store or something, but he didn't, he didn't take it to heart because he just loved it so much. This isn't even half as nice as the one my cousin's uh, son made for her. She, Made her a huge ladder where she puts her blankets. It's amazing. Really pretty. He's made the beds, everything. And then his dad makes iron beds. Canopy iron beds. I'm, I, they should get into that business, but they're not. They have enough with their other businesses. <laughs> but they are so crafty. It's incredible. Not crafty. Talented. I won't call that crafty. That is talent. It's pure talent. Pomegranates. Oh my gosh. Groovy. Okay, outside of the gift shop. So see, I wanted to get a basket, but you can't bring the baskets in here. Why would you look at this amazing table? Isn't that beautiful? Oh. That one is so cute. Stack of pancakes are cute too. My daughter would love, my middle daughter would love the jelly donuts. Sprinkly donuts, rather. Those are cute. A bowl of cereal. How cute. Not my favorite, but cute. So these are all the grocery items. Peanut butter, too. Those are cute. All right, I got to get back to the pots and pans. Go back to the real world. Go back to the kitchen. I Oh, that's so cute. The little bar area, cigars. How precious is that? Oh, for the camera bar. Oh, this, I should give this one to my son. Travel buff. He's a traveler. How cute is that? That is really darling. It is so pretty. Oh, this tag. Oh, I like this one that just stands on the table. I was thinking of getting one that you mount on the wall. 
This one's beautiful. Perfect to hold your jewelry, right? There's all the fancy appliances. There's a percolator right there. This looks like a nice one. And is it glass? I like that. But I want the smeg and he likes percolators. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make separate coffee. It's not bad though for $79. Per Capreso percolator. The glass lid. That looks like a winner. I may have to get that. Oh, here's the smeg. Wow, I think this is, um, is this the kettle? Oh no, it was the coffee pot that was 300. The kettle is 200. It's a hand mixer. I don't want to eat that much toast to warrant that, but I wouldn't mind getting the kettle because I actually prefer French press coffee. <sighs> There's the mixer up at the top. Have you guys heard of it ever? It's the latest. I think it's a gadget. I don't know. I really do want this one. I think I'm going to have to get it. Well, I'm going to take home the study guide because I'm not sure which one she was talking about when she said saute pan. I also wanted to find a chai tea mix. That was a load of fun. I am so happy I came. It's been so long that I've been here. These, this area of town is shopping Mecca. And of course it has the renowned Galleria. But this entire area is really wonderful. And this store did not disappoint. Wish I had had more time to look around because they had some beautiful things that you really need to look at at your leisure. I did find some gourmet products that I wanted. Like I said, I was kind of rethinking how I gift and how you can give someone something that they would not buy for themselves, not necessarily because it's expensive, but just because it's kind of spur the moment, made kind of a spontaneous purchase that they might not get and you know someone might not pay twenty dollars for a sample of honey and but it's nice to get that right and they might not take the time or the money or to buy it but they would definitely enjoy it and that's kind of what i'm trying to put into my gift giving this year well we're getting some gloomy weather look at those clouds santa's, what, santa's has it, it, they have their own you don't think santa belongs in the no, nativity scene that's why i moved him <laughs> i thought he looked good because he gave him a little substance mm -hmm. Hi, he's chilling. Y'all are so, y'all are like all into what my. What do you mean? I moved it. I did it. It was me. Look at the cats just looking at you argue with me. They agree. I, I don't think they like it. They love me. Why don't you put your vintage toy under the tree? What vintage toy? Your German one. I will as soon as I do it in the hall. Okay, I have to well, do a haul today. Get to it. Look at that fat cat. Which Look at one? Belly. Almost as big as mine. Well. It's gonna get bigger with that red velvet cape. It's one You put cape. the bear on. Oh, you moved the, the the lion? What lion? You've been rearranging my What my lion? Tree. What are you talking about? This lion right here. He's been there since we did the tree. No, I, I put all of them over yeah, here. Yeah, I moved you it spread the them up. <laughs> yes, I did. I don't like them all together. It looks bad. It looked too cluttered. It looked like, it, it, it's- But they're a theme. They're, they're we Wizard know they're of a theme. They all look the same. We don't need them to be next to each other nope. and know that I'll they I'll tell you what, together. I do like the elf on the shelf right there on the tree. I think even the candy canes that are Texas should be spread out. But be careful with my icicles. They're like gold. Mars? No, I don't care about the Mars. I Mars can do whatever I didn't they knock want. over your icicles. I'm saying don't. Well, nobody has touched your icicles. Because when you add things, they move. I moved him before you put the, the rest of the tinsel on. I moved it like the day you did it. I've only added. I don't know about that. I had vlog every single day. Well, let's look at the proof then. We will. We got the receipts. I moved it very early. Though. We got. <laughs> and not like your first round of icicles, but at least by the second. Look at the cats and some eggs. Just let them be. We'll just leave it on. Uh, what do you call it? 
time lapse. See, I actually see what they actually do all day. Nothing. Didn't kill a wasp. Today. They are cats. They don't and do anything but sleep and eat all day long. All right. Is that enough of the cat lock footage? I also put up some stockings. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the stockings. I was going to get yours in mine for sure because they're made from Mama's quilt. But uh, Dad's was dirty. I mean, we're going to have to get Dad another one. I don't need one. Just leave the cats one. Nobody, gives me, nobody, nobody ever gives me anything anyway. It's all nobody. I forget. I once gave you a gold chain. I was well talked about. Yeah. It's when it's, gold was affordable. It, it's already tarnished. It's so old. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> it was 14 karat. Do I look like someone who would buy fake gold? No. Well, I still have it. Don't I? Well, they wouldn't tarnish. Gold isn't tarnished, Robert. What the cats? Yeah, they're fine. They're they're not gonna move. Wow, I'll just leave them there for till I run out of battery. I gotta plug that in. So I'm bringing you the haul. This is just some of what I bought today. I am gonna break it up into parts actually because I do have some more thrifted items that I haven't showed you yet. But I don't want to take too long so I can get this uploaded before midnight. And I apologize for the late upload of today's vlogmas. It's because I set everything to be uploaded and YouTube has been glitching again and taking hours when they normally take 15 minutes to even put up an hour long video. So I don't know what's going on. But when I went to bed, I forgot to switch it to go public and it just went to unlisted. So that's why when I woke up this morning, I switched it back to public and that's why it went up so late so this one should be going up about 11 p.m tonight I got this beautiful sign i may hang it behind my mantle i think i'm going to go ahead and remove the the um, rolling stones framed piece that i have back there and make some room to hang this one and it was five dollars and then i found this cute santa today he was two dollars he's wearing ski what do you call it? Snowshoes. Like these little snow things. <laughs> he's so cute. And he's all in white. So I have been dwindling down on the Santa. I gave some Santas away. Well, I try, I've been trying to give away some Santas. Robert always pulls them right back out of the bag. The Goodwill bag or my trunk. It won't let me donate them. But whenever they become a little bit too worn, I do donate them back. But this one's pretty. I like that one. Then this is that super expensive. I didn't realize how expensive they are, but I did look them up and they are Salt Lick, Salt Lick, that's the name of one of our steakhouses, Salt City Candles. And I will insert a picture of one that I found on Etsy. It must be a very rare, they say it's very rare, very rare scent. And they're selling it for $300 or $230, something like that. But this one smells amazing. This one is a citrusy smell. Oh my gosh, it's so rich. And apparently there's a little, quite a bit of a cult following there. So there's your bolo. There's your thrift with an expert. Tip of the day. Look for those candles because I don't know if you t paid much attention to my vlog through bearings today. But we were looking at candles that were over $300. Some of them, I think the cheapest ones they had were $45, $50. So it's all about the candles, for sure. Then I got these wonderful candles. These are rolled beeswax candles. They are glittery and beautiful. And I should have gotten the crystal candle holders, candlesticks that were there. But I put them back because I got tight-fisted when she said they were $4 a piece and not $4 for the set. But I'm gonna go back tomorrow and see if I can find them. And these candles were originally $20, $21. And I got them at the Goodwill for $1.99. So that's fantastic. Not sure what kind of crystal this is. I don't see any kind of a marking, but this is an amazing vase. Perfect little vase. I would say it's about, I don't know, maybe six inches tall. Really perfect little bud vase. I love it. And that was only $6, $6. Then I did find a snow globe. I used to have a collection of snow globes. I've also gotten rid of those because the water has yellowed 
Where are my snow globes, babe? Do you know? I used to have a whole bunch. I know I've gotten rid of some that either broke or got yellowed. I think one even froze. Somebody said their the snow globes can freeze. But anyway, this one plays Merry Christmas, I think. It's really pretty. Also, I had one from New York that one of my students brought me. And then my grandson liked it, so he took it. And then I found this redoing some of the schemes in the room, some of, some of the decorative little vignettes that I'm doing. So I'm, I do need to get the pillar candles, but I think the battery operated ones so that I don't have to worry about the wax and the roof. Never opened for $10. This is probably from Kirkland's or something. I'm not sure. Don't ever buy anything at Goodwill without looking inside the box. <laughs> I've heard horror stories of people buying stereos and things in a box, and then it turns out someone had actually put the old stereo in the box. This, and I thought it'd be perfect to replace some where I had my children's Christmas picture. I'm going to replace the one that's broken in one of these. Then I thought, well, maybe I'll just get one and replace it in here since I'll never find that matching one that I bought in the 80s. But this one is really pretty, so I'll probably replace her picture in here. My oldest daughter's picture will go in this one, and then I'll just save this one for the grandkids, of which I do have three. And um, this one was $2, and this one was $5. And then I found another candle. I haven't looked up this brand, but I think this might be an expensive brand too. And the scent is amazing. This one is a soy candle as well, mulberry and cedar wood. And this one was $4.99 excuse me, $3.99 and also new. Wonderful products and things over at Bearings, that wonderful hardware store that we went to. Remember to stay merry. Make someone else merry too. It feels really good when we do that. Thanks. Then I gotta edit. It's their spot. Now, I don't like that blanket like that. There it shouldn't go. be like that. Well, I'm already there. But I just, oh, okay, we're done. Take two.